All right, so what parts of the plan can be taken offline? In other words, what parts of a plan can you use when you have no internet connectivity? So let's put these into the right perspective. The plan itself is just filled with tasks, period. Now, it might have some associated files if you've attached them, but essentially, it's just for tasks. You cannot use it offline. The same with the board, charts, any of these views. These are online views only. Sorry. However, the good news is you can use the notebook, files, calendar, all of those can be used offline. But via the Microsoft Office, if you have it loaded locally, so notebook would be OneNote, and if you want conversations and mem uh, pardon me, conversations in calendar, you're going to need to have Outlook installed and the conversations lands in your email box and groups. But you can do this stuff offline, not a problem. So let's walk through these one at a time. Let's talk about the notebook first. So it's going to open up this notebook and it's saying edit in OneNote because I've actually already had it um, opened in OneNote. Let me see if I can find one that I haven't yet added to my OneNote so you can see what it looks like. So again, the process is the same. You go into a plan, you click on notebook. It doesn't matter what the notebook. And it looks like I haven't added this one, but the verbiage is the same. Edit in OneNote. If I were to click on this, it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to add this to your OneNote notebook? And it's going to go out and it's going to actually say, hey, I see there's a security thing. Do you want to continue? I say yes. And it's going to actually pull it into my version of OneNote. And you can see that, that it was just doing a little magic there. I'll drag this in. And there it is, the Mesa Notebook. And so you can see it here amidst all my other notebooks. Okay, <laughs> I have a lot of notebooks. Um, so, and you can drag them around if you want. Now I've got lots of other notebooks here, but that's the idea. So this is completely local now. I don't, there's no sections, uh, but if I were to add a section, meetings as an example, and I were to hit save, uh, which, and sync this thing, this bad boy, what you're going to see in the background here in a second, as soon as I go to it, is it will definitely sync up to the online version. And now you're going to see in the Mesa Notebook meetings. So it's that simple. That's, that's one thing you can do. The second piece that you can run, and by the way, um, Outlook is the second piece, and that syncs up your conversations, which you see here. These are all sunk up in the conversations. These are exactly the conversations that are in the planner. You can see the thumbs up or you can see how many responses or people that are associated to them. But not only does it show that, um, but you can also have your file, uh, your calendars be shown. So if I come down here and I want to check out local stuff, I want to do this diversified. I just simply click on diversified and bam, there it is. I've got a few here, but but it's showing now all the diversified stuff over here. And you can see diversified thermal services. And you can take it away if you want to pretty easily. So that's three of the four areas that can be handled in a local version. These are all local versions, offline versions. The final one has to do with files. And you get to that. Again, it doesn't matter what plan. The plans all run the same, folks. So you just come into here and click BAM files. I happen to open the one up for DTS. When you click on the left, if it's at the folder level, here deliverables, um, you'll notice that there's no function here that says share, uh, pardon me, sync. But if I come up here to documents, at the highest level of documents, you'll notice that there is the ability to sync now when I sync this, what's going to happen is on my local computer is it is going to pull open that plan. Let me show you what it looks like. Let me scroll down here. Let's find it. It'll be underneath SharePoint because that's where all the files are, are um, stored. If I click here and I look for diversified thermal services, 
I see these four folders. These are the exact folders, and if I click on that, you'll see the exact folders and the exact files. If I click on Adoption Templates, and there's these handful of files in here, and again, Adoption Templates, handful of files. I can, if I want to, drag a file into this location, or let's say I wanted to move this template out to the root. So I'm going to move it out to the root. It's going to disappear from this folder, and it's going to end up in this folder. There it is, right there, that template. If I go online here and refresh, it's synchronizing automatically in the background. You can see it's gone from there, and if I go to the root of the documents, magically it appears. Unbelievable synchronization functions. I encourage you to take advantage of that because working on an offline version does the sync automatically, but it makes it a lot faster when you work with a lot of files, especially big files, because they can synchronize in the background. So just use your file explorer, drag that big ass file into here and let it go. And it might take a while to get up to the cloud, but you're still working and not interrupted. That's it. That's how to work offline with the planner. That's all.